you were in Australia during the second season of True Blood, and you just got back, and you realized how the show has blown up. Yeah, I think it was somewhat of an underground phenomenon, but it's now really turned to the mainstream, and it was quite a shock to come back and uh, uh, be thrown into that sort of world. Um, I'm a relatively sort of private guy, but it's, uh, it's still nice to hear that the fans of the show are really actually quite respectful. I don't know, they're, they're really into it, and they know quite often more about it than I do. I'm definitely surprised in the fact that it's taken over Sopranos and the ratings, it shows that, you know, have such a, a great resonance in society, and, you know, I, I hold them very close to my sort of top ten list. Do you feel like you're getting recognized more? And like even just in the two, three days that yeah. I'm back. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely recognize me. What do people say to you? Oh, do you mind if I take a photo and then they hear me talk? They think that I'm putting this accent on. So I have to, no, 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 I really am Australian. It's just a show and uh, it's just a character that I play, but I'm happy to take a photo with you. Is that hard for you to do a Southern accent? I guess I've just done a sort of variety of roles since sort of arriving here in the last sort of eight years. And Southern was one of the ones that I'd done, but uh, as you may or may not know, Louisiana in itself has a good sort of five particular accents, you know, one of which is the Cajun, sort of French Cajun type of accent, and I just sort of chose sort of the hybrid Louisiana accents and sort of stuck with that. Has True Blood made it to Australia? It has, yeah, it's got a huge underground following. My brothers are sort of big fans there, you know, they download it and uh, all that kind of stuff. Do you remember getting a script for the show? And then I remember reading it. Yeah, obviously the, the character of Jason tends to jump out at the even at the worst of times. Alan had seen a film that I was in called Flicker, which you wouldn't think has any kind of... The horse movie? Yes. Yes. Which he thought, the character that I played in Flicker was like a PG version of Jason. From what I know, I was the first cast in True Blood and then sort of the rest of sort of history. Shot that first season not really knowing what to expect. It's sort of like, uh, like you're raising a baby. Yeah. And then it's sort of the baby turns 18 and it's time to give it out to the world. Once it sort of goes on air, it's out of our control. Unfortunately, people seem to like it. We got lucky. Were you into any of that sort of vampire mythology or did you read vampire books before you came on board with this? I uh, didn't necessarily read the vampire books. Um, I'm always a fan of just what else is out there. Not really in terms of sort of superstition stuff, but just Obviously there's other worldly things that may or may not exist and I think that level of intrigue is always kind of sexy or mysterious. Or you want to do it. There's a lot of graphic sex in True Blood. Is that something you were ever worried about? Uh, no. I mean when you've got guys like Alan Ball writing the scripts, it's never going to be uh, um, Nudity for nudity's mm -hmm. sake, you know, it always comes from a really strong story point. If I, if I get nervous about it, I try and offset that. Um, onto the character and sort of go with it like that. But Jason's so sort of comfortable with his body and uh, part and parcel of who he is. One of my friends, you said that you just don't have a six pack, you have like a 12 pack. Um, Maybe it's the way it's lit, no. 